So this here is going to be a painting video for the Noxious Blightbringer, the Death Guard model that you see in front of you. Now, we like the way it turned out. As you can see here, this is the final product. And if you have one to paint or if you're thinking of getting one and you want it to turn out similar to this, stay tuned and we will show you how we painted it this way. Um, if you've liked videos like this and you want to support our channel, then just please feel free to leave a like or leave a comment on the bottom of it. It's been a while since we put an upload up, so uh, comments are appreciated. Uh, subscriptions are even more appreciated. Uh, aside from that, you should stay tuned and we'll show you how we painted them up. So this here's our painting video for our Noxious Blightbringer. And as you can see, we put the base coat down on him already. So the first thing we did with him is we base coated him with Death Guard Green. Now, the easy way to do that was just to use the spray can, which we've got right here. And we gave him a full over spray down, um, front and back, so he looks pretty good there. And now we're going to start with uh, our first color. So the first color that we're gonna do with this now is going to be uh, Nurgling Green Highlight. Usually we put the shade on first, but if we put the shade on and then highlight, what'll end up happening is then we're gonna have to reshade when we do the trim and the bones and the processes and all that stuff. It's all gonna go Agrax Earth Shade anyway. So this is one of the one examples where we're going to put the highlight on before the actual shade. So we'll take some highlight of Nurgling Green and we'll just dry brush that over all of the armor that's all over the model. And be back here in just a few minutes. We'll probably hit the uh, Nurgling as well there too. So anything that's going to be green, we're going to do now with that. So this is our Noxious Blightbringer now that we finished with the Nurgling Green highlight. And as you can see, we've added the little edge highlight there. And all along the edges of the armor, you can see that there's a lighter highlight there now. So what we're going to do after that because we're still not going to shade it till we've done all of the same colors that need the same shade, is we're going to start working on the trim here. So with that, we're going to do some Balthazar Gold. And we're just going to subtly do all of this. The, I guess the crown here, or the, um, the spikes around the head, as well as all of the bells that are sitting here, as well as any of the other trim around the armor plates, all along the back any of the bug uh, decals and things like that, the bell that the Nurgling is holding. We'll do all of that with the Balthazar Gold Base and be back here in just a few minutes once we've picked all that out. So this here's our Noxious Blightbringer now that we finished with the Balthazar Gold. And as you can see, we did all of the trim as well as all the bells, as well as all of the trinkets on the back of the armor and on the backpack. So we finished most of those there. We didn't do the sensors because we're gonna do those probably in metallic color later, but everything else we've finished with our Balthazar Gold. So from there, we're gonna move on to our next color. We're gonna start working on the bones. So the next color we're gonna be working on is gonna be some Rackarth Flesh. And for that, we're going to use it for the bones. So there's lots of horns and spikes that come out. The big one up here holding the bell, as well as these ones on the shoulder, the one on the top of the Nurgling, these ones here. So we'll do all of those now and be back here in a few minutes once that's done. And uh, you'll see which what parts we ended up doing. So this here's our Noxious Blightbringer. And as you can see, we finished up these big bony proboscis as well as the one on the little Nurgling here. So we did all of those. On the back, they stand out a little bit more clear here. So we've got that base colored in now. So what we're gonna do here is now do these chains and these, um, these uh, decanter incense type balls here. We may do them bronze, I'm not entirely sure. The chains are definitely gonna go metallic as well as some of these pipes. And then the chains out front, this feeder tube here, things like that over here. We're going to do all those with some lead belcher. And so we'll do those now, which is filling in all that. So when we shade it, they'll end up rusting. So we'll, uh, we'll be right back in a few minutes once that's done. So this is our noxious bite bringer now that we've finished with the uh, lead belcher. So as you can see, we did the chains along the um, uh, incan in, in incense uh, decanters, as well as the vents on the back. 
So we got that all finished. And now I think we're finally ready to shade the entire model. So here what we're gonna do is take our Agrax Earthshade shade right here. And we're gonna do basically all of the bronze, all of the green, as well as all of the bone uh, and all of the metal. So we'll do all that now. We'll probably do his horn and then everything on the back here as well. We're gonna do that with Agrax Earthshade, make everything look dirtier, uh, very Death Guardy. So we'll do that now. Uh, we'll put extra on the on the bell and anything we want to be very dirty. So we'll do that and be back here in a few minutes and then we'll move on to some of the other parts of the model. So this here is our Noxious Blightbringer now that we finish with the Agrax Earthshade. And as you can see, all the details have really popped out. You can definitely see all the striae and lines in the bones, as well as the dirtiness of the armor and all the cracks and seams have been filled. So from there, we're going to move on to our second shade. And in this case, it's going to be on the Nurgling. And we're going to use a little bit of Athonian Camo Shade. And that's a darker green, which will just fill in the Nurgling details um, all over there and set them slightly apart from the... the um, uh, the Death Guard Marine, uh, because this is a demon, it's a little bit different. So we'll do that now. We'll be back here in a few minutes once that's all dried. So this here is our Noxious Blightbringer now. Now that we finish with the Nurgling, and we've got him shaded, and all the other details are shaded. So what we're going to do now is add a highlight layer. We're going to highlight over all of these bone processes here and brighten them up a little bit because they look a little bit uh, plastic here now. So we're gonna use a little bit of bone color. We'll use some Screaming Skull, and we'll just dry brush that lightly over all of these bones and horns, and that should brighten them up a little bit, make them stand out a little bit more. So we'll do that now, and be back here in just a few minutes when that's finished. So this is our Noxious Blightbringer so far, and what we're gonna do now is start working on all of the fleshy bits. So we're gonna do this tube right here, on both sides of the uh, the central piece. So we're gonna do that with a Bugman's Glow. And while we're at it, we're gonna do all of this fleshy material here, as well as this tentacle down below, and these slimy tentacle bits at the bottom here as well. And then there's some on that leg, and then there's some entrails in here. So all of that is gonna get done with a Bugman's Glow. So we'll do that now and be back in just a few minutes. So here's our model now that we finished with the Bugman's Glow. And as you can see, we've done these cables here, as well as these tentacles here along the legs. And then on the backside, all of the fleshy bits by the foot, the other leg, the entrails, the uh, tentacle there, the fleshy mass over here, and then all of the tubing over here as well. So we've done all that with our Bugman's Glow. So what we're gonna do now is shade all of that with some Reichlin Flesh Shade. And we're just going to be copious with that just to bring out some of the detail in this area before we add our dry brush over the top. So we'll do that now and be right back in a few minutes. So this is our Noxious Blightbringer now. Um, now that we finish finished with the Raycline Flesh Shade here. So what we're going to do is one more highlight on all these fleshy bits with some Cadian Flesh Tone. And we're just going to lightly put a dry brush highlight layer on the corners here just to bring that out, make it a bit fleshier, lighten up some of this uh, fleshy slime bits here, this mutant uh, appendages. So we'll do that now and be back here in just a few minutes once that's all finished. The next thing we're gonna do is take on all of these little met metallic um, cords that are visible through this um, tube here. So as you can see, there's some uh, barren coils here so we're going to do all those with some lead belcher. And while we're at it on this model, we're also going to do the nails that are sticking out of the bone here on the top. So we'll do those, clean up some of that. We'll probably put Nulin oil over it just to uh, give them some depth. 
and then there's some more on the back here and then some more down there so there's some around we're going to do all those extra metallics now just cleaning them up and getting ready for our next color so we'll do that here and be right back so with our noxious noxious bright light bringer here what we're going to do next is deal with this cloth here now we have a few choices uh, the box art has it as a white cloth with a, a little logo on it. Uh, a lot of people paint it in purple, and that seems to be a, a popular choice. But I think we're going to do ours in red, um, just to bring it out a little bit and add some contrast. So we're going to do it with a little bit of corn red, which is a nice dark base. And then we'll shade it with some Newell oil. And then kind of go from there. We might even put another dry brush of corn red over it uh, just to create a shade effect. And then we'll probably go with a lighter red after that. Maybe a uh, Evil Sun Scarlet or something along those lines. It's a pretty bright contrast change, but it does work when they're put together. So we'll do that now, painting that up, and then we'll be back here in a few minutes once that's finished. So this is our Noxious Blight Bringer now that we've finished with the cloak. And as you can see, we've done our shades of red. We've got the Newland Oil shade, and then we've got the brighter highlight that's there. So it really stands out quite nicely. So we're going to move on from there, and we're going to do all of these boils. There's a couple on the Nurgling here, and then there's probably a few around on the armor itself. Uh, a couple up here, a couple over there, one on the arm here right there so there's a few of them around so in these cases all of those are going to start with an ungar flesh then we're going to shade them with some reikland flesh shade to make the whole area um, infected and red and then we're going to put a dab of ungar flesh right over the top again in the center just to sort of make a um, a pustule type cap there so we'll do that now and be back in a few minutes once that's finished so our noxious blight bringer is almost finished. We're going to work on the plasma coils here. And we have a video on the channel already discussing how to do plasma coils. So this is just going to be a rehash of that. But effectively what we're going to do for this area is we're just going to take a base of something like Sybrite Green. We're going to shade it with a Newell oil to fill in all those little plasma grooves. And then we're going to dry brush some moot green over the top of that. And that should create um, the nice plasma effect. Usually we would also do a little bit of white scar. But because it's round, we're not going to get that those corners. So we may not need that. But we'll see what we end up with when we do it. So we'll do that now and be back here in a few minutes. This is our noxious blade bringer now that we've finished with the coils of the plasma pistol in his hand. As well, we took a little tiny bit of Flash Gets Yellow and did the eye of the Nurgling here. And that makes that stand out quite nicely. So the only thing left to do with the model is to paint the base black again and then add the flock to it. So that'll finish the basing. And then we want to add a little bit of rust to some of these bells and things like that. So we'll take a little bit of uh, Nikolay Oxide here. We'll just paint some on and then just sort of wash it off. So it uh, just fills in some of the gaps, fills in a little bit of the trim around and sort of runs. So that'll give us our rusted copper appearance. And then this model is pretty much finished. So then we'll be back and we'll just see the final product and uh, Move on from there. So this here's our noxious blight bringer now that we've finished with all of the basing and the clear coating. So this is pretty much the finished model and uh, we're pretty happy with the way it turned out. Now, if you like models like this, if you liked what you did here, uh, please feel free to leave a like or subscribe or leave me some comments on how it turned out. Um, otherwise than that, we will see you at our next painting video. Um, but we're pretty happy with the way this came out and um, Hopefully it looks good in the tabletop for you as well. Uh, we'll put some pictures at the end just so you can see some other different points of view. And otherwise than that, we will see you in our next video. Thanks for watching.